A recent survey found 70% of Americans plan to celebrate Cinco de Mayo this Saturday. The survey also found that eating Mexican food was the number one way they'll celebrate. The number two way is drinking margaritas, which is perfect because our next guest has us covered on both counts. We want to welcome Chef Bill Fuller here to share recipes for margaritas and Mexican food. And you also wrote me this cool shirt. And, and this, is the, this is the staff shirt. Yeah. Oh. So you could like sneak in the back. So you're saying that I can make some tips today? You can make some tips. Well, Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. What does it say? I just Cinco threw it on the... Mad Perfect. Max 2018. Love right. it. I nice. love this shirt. So what are we making today? Well, first of all, like, the number one way is eating, and number two way is... Drinking. Drinking. What's, like, number three? Well, it, the way that it broke down, it was like, uh, oh, three is celebrate Mexican culture, oh. and four was to drink Mexican beer. So number two is just drink margaritas. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's broken down that specifically. Wow. Yeah. How about so, that? So we should probably make a margarita celebration. I would that. love that if you don't mind. All right. So uh, I'm just going to make a real basic, where's my ice? A real basic Mad Max mar margarita with just tequila, combier, and some orange and uh, lime juice. What's combier? Combier is a sweet orange liqueur. Mm -hmm. You can also use, it's, it's sort of the high-end triple sec. Oh. So it's a little bit, it's made with actual real oranges versus like artificial, artificial flavoring. flavoring. And cool. there's also Grand Marnier uh, people use as well, which is another liqueur. Yeah, I know Grand Marnier. All right, well, it's the same thing. It's just in a square bottle versus a round bottle. <laughs> this is a ridiculously <laughs> large bottle of Patron. So it's, You can never have too and much. I just spilled it everywhere. Neither, neither can our stove. All right, apparently. neither can our stove. <laughs> so two ounces of Patron. Okay. Just under two ounces of the lime and orange juice. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. That's what we call this, actually, the perfect margarita. Have you ever bartended? Uh, the only time I bartended is I grew up near Dubois, and so my dad had a little country bar near Dubois in a place called Echo Glen, and it was the Echo Glen Bar and Grill. But I basically just handed beers to guys. Oh, you yeah. didn't? Did you crack them open? Were we talking Iron City? Yes. Yeah. We Natty did. Light. You know, no, I no, no. It was a big, a big uh, Jenny area, Jenny oh. C. Yeah, and not that Jenny cream ale, but the straight Jenny in the oh. blue in the blue cans. Very nice. Yeah. I bartended in college, so did my husband. And we worked. I could together. totally see you as a bartender. Yeah, I was terrible. Did you meet? As, did you meet working together? No, uh, no. I know that would be cute. That would be cute. We knew each other before. I met my went. wife working together. I know you told oh, me this yeah. story. <laughs> not for the air. Not for the air. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's, it's not. That it's bad. not that bad. It's just it's one it's one it's one off color joke. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put a little salt in the rim. Okay. And what, what we do is I have a little blue carousel how here. It's a, a blue colored orange flavor liqueur, and I'm going to dip part of the glass in there, and I'm going to dip it in some salt. Nice. And I like my salt half rim, because sometimes when I sip the margarita, I want some salt, and sometimes I don't. So you, now you have it either way. Half rim. I like sugar on my rim, but well, you didn't bring sugar. Didn't That's bring okay. Sugar. I'll take the half that doesn't have salt on it. And I apologize for not having some super classy... Bar cocktail moves. Cocktail moves, because I'm not um, Tom Cruise. That's okay. Where's my ice? There's my ice. All right. I'm so excited for Cinco. I have stuff everywhere. <laughs> All right. We're just making a mess. I think Bill's already had some margaritas. I, you had to try them, right? I, I, I've only had four or five getting ready for the day. <laughs> Fantastic. I can't wait. And I, I right. love when we make drinks first, because then I can sip on this while you, you make me food. <laughs> Isn't that perfect? Is what are, so what are you making? So, uh, so uh, you know, <laughs> we, at Mad Max, we're always doing new stuff, new, new, new quesadillas, Ooh. new tacos, new burritos. But today, I just decided to go kind of old school. And uh, a basic chicken t quesadilla is delicious. It is. It is. And so what we do is, with, you know, a little bit of cheese this is really good. on the tortilla. How's that mm -hmm. working out? Mm -hmm. And we have grilled peppers and onions. And it's just easy to grill those ahead of time and cut them up. And uh, nice, freshly grilled, freshly sliced chicken breast. And you'll notice how tiny that chicken breast is. We specifically buy chicken breast from small chickens because it's more tender and more yummy. So the big giant chicken breast you get a lot of times yeah. are kind of chewy and gross. It is, right. And we specifically buy only small chicken breasts. So look for smaller chicken breasts. That's good Look for know. smaller chicken breasts. I, I do. I hate. Sometimes I don't like chicken for that very reason. No, no, and it's, it starts it's, to get gross. Right, and it, especially in, you know because the, the, the bottom of the breast is kind of thin and the top is thick and you know it's kind of chewy and gross. You forgot my umbrella, by I'm the way. Sorry. I know. I'm, like I said, I'm no bartender. Mm -hmm. um, okay. All right. Very good. I hate and look how easy quesadillas are. Like really, truly, one of the easiest things to make. And I make them all the time at home, like yeah. barbecue pork, leftover meatloaf, a bunch of veggies, whatever you want. Tortilla, some cheese, the stuff, fold it up. 
guacamole, sour cream, salsa. Yep. What else are you guys doing at Mad Max for uh, Cinco de Mayo? Oh my God, it's going to be a crazy weekend. So everywhere we're opening at nine. And serving breakfast, and we're gonna have an egg burrito and an egg enchilada, Ooh, egg enchilada. Breakfast burrito is my do, favorite. We do dumb names. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have a bunch of drink specials in the morning. Five dollar drinks is gonna be a like a white uh, white Mexican, like a white Russian, and um, um, uh, oh my God, Bloody Maria. Oh. And those, those and then. All day long at Cranberry and Robinson, we're going to be grilling outside with turkey legs and ears of corn. We're going to have some bands at those places. And so then, live music. Yeah. That's fun. And then all of our Mad Mex goodness all day long. I forget the name of it, but I have had that, like a Mexican street fair, the, the corn that's rolled in mayo. A lote. And, oh, that's what it's called. A lote. Yeah. So it's rolled in mayo and then rolled in cheese. And this is our classic <gasps> Mad Mex quesadilla. Ooh. And you can't really do any better than that. You really can't. That's it. Happy that Cinco looks to so good. I want to dig into that. And look how nice. It really was so easy. It's so easy. And kids, there are things that kids won't eat if you put them in a quesadilla right. that they'll eat. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Very good, Bill. I love that. I'm Come supposed to wrap. Come out and see us at Cinco. I'm supposed to wrap, but I can't. You can't wrap? Because I have food in my mouth. Bill Fuller, executive chef. I'm just going <laughs> to keep my hand here so you don't see the food in my mouth. <laughs> for the Big Burrito Restaurant Group, for a copy of today's recipes, go to kdka.com slash PTL. Or go celebrate at Mad Max. Right. Live Come on music out. near you. Right.